week we held an all nominees meeting in Juba um, and um, a way to go about to come. Uh, that's absolutely fine. This process, this constitution making process, will lay the foundation for the electoral system and pave the way for elections. Article 6.13 of the peace agreement um, states that the process of permanent constitution making shall be led and owned by the people of South Sudan. It highlights a participatory and inclusive process between citizens and political leaders in South Sudan. Popular participation in constitution making is premised on the idea that democratic constitutions should be created and adopted through dialogue and not just dominated by elites. This form of constitution making is promoted by the UN and many other international organizations, especially in support of peace building efforts. And this is a history-making exercise. The extent to which it is done, if it is inclusive, you achieve a society that is more cohesive, where the social contract is evident. If it is divisive and exclusive, you achieve a society that builds a foundation of polarization and hostility for the future. This country has come a long way. This is your opportunity to cement the peace and achieve the prosperity that I believe is the destiny of South Sudan. We need to be the watchdog as the media, you are the watchdog, to make us stakeholders accountable on all these aspects we are promoting. The rights of women, the human rights aspects, the issues of natural resource management, the issues of education, health, and all that, which are going to be encompassed within this constitution. It's you to make the government and stakeholders accountable on these commitments which will come out of this constitution. If we have constitutional uh, process going on, uh, the making of constitution, as well as the other processes that are taking place as part of the agreement that we made among ourselves, then your role is very important because we want an outcome which is balanced, which is inclusive, which has not left anybody behind as most of the speakers have been talking about. We are playing a great role and I hope also the authority will open up for us the space of freedom of press and also to uh, have access to the, some other red lines that it wasn't accessible before.